located on the lower level of the chalet. We also have an 8,000 square foot skating pond, and you can get rentals for that at the Fireside Hut. Right beside that we have a sleigh ride which departs every 15 minutes. The light walk is open today, and that takes you right around Blue Grouse Lake, and at 12... Ladies and gentlemen, to the peak of Vancouver. The big building there across from us is the Grand Chalet. On the upper level, we have two. Yeah, here for Snoopy Snet, new little video. Uh, on this one, uh, I'm gonna try my. Uh, it's kind of beginning of the season for me. I got so busy in December, I was not able to get out. Uh, so uh, I want to do uh, some uh, night overnighter and um, uh, doing some radio stuff and so what I did is uh, you can see uh, so basically in there I got everything for uh, my radio stuff and uh, tent and sleeping bag so I wanted to see how I I'm doing and stuff uh, so I'm in the mountain here uh, near the city which is pretty crazy because uh, I'll show you on the other side um, but uh, right there is uh, <laughs> when I came from um, and uh, it was about uh, 7 degrees Celsius and here is about uh, minus 1, minus 2 and there was actually no snow at all. I mean, we're in, uh, there was even people in almost in t-shirts and, 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 uh, and shoes and uh, this is how much more snow they have over here. It's, it's just crazy. It's always, uh, I'm always uh, astonished how, uh, how the weather is different. Uh, so yeah, you, so you got the uh, ocean right there. The city and uh, the United States <laughs> kind of on this side a little bit more there but uh, yeah so uh, we're her things will be uh, a little bit more over there and they call it the grouse um, uh, grouse mountain grind uh, so in the summer there's this route actually you can only go one side and and uh, it's almost like um, a comp it's actually a competition there's an app and people register and stuff and because uh, it's very steep and it's uh, whoever does it in the fastest uh, time and stuff well in the winter now uh, they have a snowshoe uh, one so that people can continue doing it in the winter uh, so this is the trail that we're going to be doing. Uh, it's pretty steep, and uh, yeah. There. been up like this for a little bit now <laughs> so uh, uh, maybe a little bit uh, shorter bit <sighs> the bag goes uh, is awesome the load is not that heavy because uh, mainly it's like tent and uh, slipping bag so it's bulky but uh, not very heavy so <sighs> Still, good work up. I see like a structure, so looks like we're pretty close. So, uh, for those that are not very familiar with uh, snowshoes, and I don't know if every snowshoes have, but quality one sure have it. So, let's see. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I got some uh, spikes to obviously help because uh, those are mountain uh, snowshoes so they're made to climb like uh, hard terrain and stuff. So here it's getting pretty steep and so, so to for this to grab into the snow uh, my, bind, my binding has to go forward a lot 
So obviously every step that I do to have a good grip, my binding has to be this way, which means that my foot has to kind of go forward. Obviously that can be very tiring for uh, your calf and, and require more movement. So, so you can see the difference here. So this is without that little bar and gauge. And now all I have to do it engage that bar so what that does is that my foot is always forward so I just have to move a little bit more and right now as you can see I'm in the middle of the hill and I can rest instead of having to lay on my uh, my heels so so See, like I don't have to go too too much forward. The uh, binding is already, and here we'll bring this one down so you can see the difference. So this one, see it's engaged, but you see this one's not touching the snow. But this one, even at rest, it is. So see, I had to do that movement, and when I rest, my foot wants to go down, and my. Uh, it's, it's harder because I'm not engaged and so to take a break is too I need to put a little bit more energy and obviously when you climb like high terrain it's all about conserving energy so that uh, you can do more so this little bar there really uh, saved the day especially when you have long terrain to go up and stuff so anyway a little tip That's pretty steep and <laughs> pretty icy too. I'm glad I got uh, my snowshoes on. Oh. Again, that uh, little metal bell there saved my butt. <laughs> Like we won't have much of a view today. <laughs> oh, I've reached the uh, turn around. Yeah, we're on Dam Mountain. And no, there's no N in there. It's Dam Mountain. Dam Mountain. <laughs> oh, what? You can see, uh, nice little thing. It's uh, something like 4,000 feet or so. It's a nice little uh, hike up. Gonna set up for lunch and uh, gonna set up my uh, sodas antenna and see what we can uh, we can hit there. So uh, yeah. So, nice little bouillon, Add some tuna soon. And um, yeah, so I wanted to uh, put my bouillon there, uh, my gear now. So what I did, I don't know, I'll do a video separate with this, but um, I bought those bags and <laughs> sorry about the color, uh, I bought the wrong color. But it ended up being functional in a way because um, I ordered yellow uh, for another project and they sent me those golden. But uh, hey, uh, you have to do what you have to do. Uh, so basically in this bag, um, and what I did is that all my uh, radio stuff, it has four color. Uh, yellow is for uh, two meters, 70 centimeters. Blue is uh, VA, uh, sorry, HF or um, short wave. Uh, red is um, red is um, digital, and uh, 
block his uh, repair kit. So, so this is my uh, two meter bin. Oh, so played a little bit. Got a lot of questions. <laughs> There's actually even a gentleman who says he's going to. His son probably is going to be interested in all that stuff. They were very fascinated about the, uh, the communication of what you can do and stuff. So it was a good review on my uh, antenna and uh, wave propagation because I had to explain the concept. So, <laughs> But now it's beautiful uh, on my way back. And uh, it's a uh, different trail. <coughs> so came this way up and now it's kind of a little loop um, I was hoping to do uh, is a bigger loop but uh, while I had lunch and stuff and set up with the antenna and play with them uh, I kind of lost a little bit of the uh, uh, lost a little bit of time there so time to go back but beautiful really amazing here. And right now there's a little bit of a fog. I don't know if it's coming nice on the camera, but it uh, makes this amazing. There's nobody, so it's quiet and makes this kind of little ambiance, <laughs> as we say, us the French guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's right over here.